Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel and today we're going to be looking at the Magic Square MS-03 Heavy Gunner, their version of the G1 Decepticon and a member of the Combaticon team, Brawl. Let's get to it. Let's just have a little closer look right at this figure yeah and yes it, this is very nice i really like this okay i really really like this yeah these are add-on these are add-on pieces yeah so they you know, uh, they come separately in the bag yeah so you just put them in like so mine was a bit tight so um so i had to kind of like um just kind of like do put like a um, like a sharp something in here and just twist it around inside so they can fit in so yeah so you got that all right but yeah very nice very nice very nice and g1y yeah all right we got has got that orange and red and the orange crest up there yeah but absolutely loving it. So, yep, there you have that. Now, his height is eight inches to the top of his head and to the top of his nozzle in Robert mode, it is nine and a quarter inches and his weight is 290 grams. All right, let's do this, shall we? Okay, so we have his head. Yeah, it could go all the way around. Yep, yeah. A uh, bit down, uh, side to side, not really. And it can look all the way up like that. Shoulders can go all the way round, up like that. Nice ratchet there, okay. Um, bicep swivel, arm can bend more than 90. Um, wrist rotation. And I like this, uh, his fingers, they all articulate or individually articulate. So, well, just here, that one pin here. So no more, not there, but here and the thumb and you've got the ball joints um, at the base. Same thing with the thumb. All right. Uh, but what I like about this is, um, that, yeah, his, his fingers can splay out, you know, like so, yeah. Just makes it look a bit more natural, you know. Uh, and without the without the hand looking too spindly, yeah, because when um, when you've got hands that that can do that, that can splay out on small figures, they can look kind of very weak and spindly. But um, they did it quite well here, so I like that. Oh yeah, and you've got a bit of a rotation going on here. All right, okay, okay. So you've got that. Uh, what else? Waist rotation can go all the way around. He's got a uh, ab crunch. Yeah, lots of ab crunch there. Okay. Um, what else? Oh, it's come out. Done. Yep. Put that back. All right. Um, fire rotation. Um, it's got bend at the knee. Okay. Yeah. Plenty of bend at the knee. Um, ankle tilt. Well, I'll go up here in a moment. Yeah. Um, ankle tilt. So it's got loads of ankle tilt. That's great. Um, no real up or down or anything like that. Um, right. So the leg. So if you look here, when you raise it up, you can go, whoops, whoa, whoa, no, 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 wait, wait, wait. You've got to raise the, uh, the hip skirt first because when you raise this up, see this hip skirt, see that, how it folds in, which is very nice, but it will only do that if that is out of the way. So you need to get this out of the way first. Now, what you need to do, so when you bring this down, so you get this problem where when you bring it down, this doesn't follow. Now, this can be a bit tricky to do, but what you need to do is either bring it like that, well, you can see that the leg goes all the way back. Yeah, so let me just show that, show that off now. All right, okay, all the way forward like that, all the way back, and you can see this starts to come forward. And what you may have to do is just hold it like that to get it back in place. All right, so you've got that, um, and yep, yeah, and the leg uh, on a ratchet. Is it on a ratchet? Yes, can go all the way out like so. All right, and you've got that. Yeah, so that's your articulation. Let me just hold that and bring it back like so and put the uh, hip skirt down and there you have that all right so accessories um yeah it comes with three things so you got um this is for the alt mode so the combined mode so we'll have a look at that later okay so we've got his blaster yeah 
And a few little details on it. That's it. Nice, nice little Scott work going on here. All right, you got that, and he's got the double barrel gun as well. Um, this is in the uh, for the alt mode configuration. So, so for the gun, you, what you would do is you would just point it like that, like so. All right, and down here, you've got the handle. Just bring that down. Yeah, like so, and like that. Okay. All right, and. And you can hold both of them. So let's just open up his hands. Yeah, and you can see he's got a little little slot there, and you can just plug it in. And it holds first firmly. So that's one. And so let's come up you up as well. If I can get you in as well. There you go. Yep, that's frictioned in. And there you have it. Yeah. Yeah. There you have that. Um, armed up. All right. Okay, so let's get some comparisons going, shall we? So first thing we have is Unique Toys Archimond. Okay. Uh, their version of Brawl. So you've got that. And we have Zeta Toys Uproar, their version of Brawl as well. So you got that. Yeah, so you can see how that is all looking. We also have his Creator. Yes, um, this is uh, Defamation Spaces Crimson Wings, their Starscream. Okay, so you got that. And you know what, I'll just throw this guy in as well, Takara's Megatron MP36. Tank mode? Yeah, let's do that, shall we? All right, let's bring him in. So, first things first, raise up his arm. Uh, right in here, you have to see that panel? Bring this down, bring his hand in, make sure I see the fist, close fist, and just bring that in like so. Close that up. Bring this around, rotate, and, and just compress like that, okay? And before we get to that, what I'm gonna do is, I'm going to bring this, open this up, and then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take this half of the chest, and I'm gonna untap that, you can see the tab right there, okay? And what you wanna do, you want to, um, you want to push it up and pull down, right? So it goes like that, okay? And also what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna raise his arm like that just for clearance, you know, just to get it out of the way. And we've got that, okay? And I'm just gonna quickly do the other side. All right, so that's both sides done, okay? Now, what we're gonna do next is, um, first of all, I'm going to extend this, um, turret here extend that okay like that and this platform that is on just bring that out like so all right and bring it down like so okay now this section here is on a slider see that yeah it's on the slider like so let's leave it forward and bring it down like so take this section bring it up on a second on a second let me just raise this up a bit okay okay so yeah, raise this up, raise this up, rotate this up as well. All right, and then, uh, let me see. See the head, rotate it like, rotate this like that, rotate this back like so. All right, and before we do that, I almost forgot this part, before we close this back in, what we're gonna do is, we're going to take this, and this is gonna slide forward. And what you want to do is you want to make sure that this is flat, flat like that. Oh no, it's not quite there. What's going on? Let's, what's going on? Let's have a look. Oh, I know why. I know why. So, all right, so, so it's not quite flat. What it is, I need to extend the ab crunch temporarily like that. Okay, just leave it like that. Okay, and then just push this up, and this should, there you go, and that's uh, nice flat. Okay, so you, so you want it like that, and then bring this whole thing in, like so. 
so it butts up like that and then once that's done we're going to close all this up to come over yeah and as you can see there's a post here and there is a uh, port here and there is a slot right there that's going to go onto this tab here so just bring it together okay like Hmm, have I missed anything? Because sometimes there's these little things and sometimes I can miss it. Ha 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 ha, I did miss something. But that's okay, it doesn't matter, it's fine. Yeah, see here, see that double hinge? Bring it forward like that. There you go. Right, and now you can tab it in. Yeah, and tab that in on this side. Uh, you're gonna tap in, there you go. And there you go. All right. And that is done. All right. So let me just quickly do the other side. And bring this forward. And bring this up. Like so. Tap that in. And tap that in. And there you have it. All right, so far like that. Yeah, so that, that, that slides all that. It might slide down, but that's all right. But that's where, it's, that's where it's gonna end up like that, okay? So that's the top half done. All right. Okay, so this is where we are so far. Okay, so next, uh, we're gonna do the bottom half of the body. So let's see, what do we do? Okay, come to the feet and we're gonna rotate like that. See this bit here, rotate this in. There's quite a lot of steps go, um, that's gonna happen with the legs. Yeah, it's all very, it's all quite straightforward and easy, but I'm gonna do one side and then quickly do the other side as, as I usually do. Okay, so we've done that. On the heel, see this, um, this kind of like the fuel barrel. Yeah, just untab it like that. You see that uh, slot there, there's a tab here. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna double hinge this over like that and then tab this there's a slot right here. You're just gonna tap that in like that, okay? Once that's done, then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this foot and just rotate it down like so, okay? Next, um, right here, there's a panel right here. Just put your nail in and just loosen it up, okay? That untabs like so, all the way around like that. You see that? And then um, I think, yeah, I could take this section. Yeah, can unclip that. All right, and just leave all that back there. Okay. Next, what's next, what's next, what's next? Um, I'm going to put my nail in here. I'm gonna um, undo this section here. So I'm just gonna put my nail in here. And come on, come on. There you go, all right. And just take that, that's, there's a telescope, telescopes like so, right? And I'm just gonna put that there. I'm going to also undo the treads. Yeah, so I'm gonna put my finger back here because there's a tab around about here. That's it, pull that out. And yeah, you can see that telescopes as well. And um, with that loose, that allows me to bring this down so that I can fold this. It gives me space to fold this in. And then from there, just bring this up and just push it back down. It doesn't tab it anywhere, but that's gonna be its final resting place, all right? Okay. So that is done. Now, what is next? What is next? Um, okay, so from here, bring, where, where does it come? Where does it rotate? Rotates here? No. Ah, no. <laughs> I can't remember. Um, give me a second, please. Um, hold the line, please. There it is, yeah. Yeah, so it's just this, yeah. Just um, just make sure that this is, um, this is loose so that this can come undone. There you go. So bring this round, like so. Bring this up. Bring this down. And then rotate this, like so. And that goes in there. All right. Then what's next? Um, yeah, just rotate this around, like so. Yeah, because this whole thing's going to come like that. So you want that to be on the outside. So just leave that there for now. Next, um, right, you see the back of the leg? Like, let me show you on this leg. You see how this 
like this uh, double hinge. See how it, uh, it angles forward, okay? What we're gonna do now, so on this one, we want it to angle back. So let me show you what I mean. So it's like there, gonna angle it like that. All right, for the tank mode. Okay, so you can see the difference. Okay, angle that back. Then, um, then what we're gonna do, right, so this section here, right, watch, rotate this in, rotate it. Hmm, is there resi what's our resistance? What's going on? Hello? Oh, no, 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 it's nothing. No, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Rotate that in, and let's take this little section, rotate it down, done, okay? And then, let's see, um, uh, this whole section, just flatten it down like that. Oh, sometimes I forget this, but not this time. See this panel here? Just flick this up like that. Yeah, flick it all the way up like so. And then flatten this down like that. There you go. Yeah, so you end up like that. Okay, and then take this whole section, rotate it in, and, you can see, and there's a, a tab, a slot there, tab there, just click that down and you are done okay then what we're going to do now is straight out the leg yeah there you hear that click so that, that's perfectly straight and then we're going to, oh and then you forgot something yeah the classic transformation 180 at the waist yeah rotate that 180 like so and see the, the ab crunch yeah the, those um double hinges or triple hinge i can't remember uh just squeeze that together there you go done all right, and then from here, let's make sure the leg is straight. Yep, the leg is straight. From here, we want to, see here, just angle this in such a way so that, see that you've got a tab here. It's gonna correspond to the slot there, tab, slot. See that, that slot there? And you've got a tab here and a slot here. So start tabbing this in. That's one, that's two. All right, let me just make sure that this is forward. Because sometimes, oh no, 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 uh, let me see if I can cheat this, because sometimes I'm trying to, oh no, no, it's fine, oh, no, no, it's fine, it's fine, yeah, it's good, it's all, it's all good, it's all good, yeah, so just make sure that, um, that slides up like that, yeah, you could just about see Brawl's <laughs> little eyes in there, <laughs> okay, all right, so wait, 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 so that's tab, that's tab, that's tabs. okay, that's good, oh, oh, just, um, just got a tab, here, tap that in as well. So let's get this in. All right, there. One, two, three, there. Oh gosh, oh, was I out of frame? Sorry about that. <laughs> all right, so yeah, that's all tabbed in. All right, this, just leave that there for now. All right, you can see how that's all coming together. Oh, uh, should I do this now? Uh, no. No, what I can do, no. Let me finish tapping all this. Um, I think I could do it like this. So what I'm gonna do, I was gonna leave this till last, but you know what, I'm gonna do this now. So you got slot, tab, slot, tab. Tab that in and, let me see. Tab that in as well. Come on, can you go in? Can you, can you go in? Yes. Yeah, um, make sure this goes in as well. Come on. You know what, let me just angle this down a bit more. There you go. All right. And then from here, this, uh, you've got tab slot, tab slot. Yeah, and most importantly, you've got this bit here that's gonna go into this shape here, right? So aim for that, press that in, and press these in as well. And there you have it. Okay, okay. Okay, this is, it's the first time I've actually done it in this order where I've completed one side. Usually I leave this bit uh, loose. Yeah, but no, you could do it all one go on one side. All right, okay, so I'll um, I'll get to um, to this point. Well, just before I tab this in um, with the other leg, yeah? So I'll see you in a moment. Okay, so we're back again, all right? So I'm at this point here, okay? And I got to this point here, and um, and as you can see here, you've got uh, a tab and slot, and you've got a post and, and a port. Just squeeze this in together. 
like so. And then, um, just straighten this out, push this in. Uh, let's have a look, yep. Just put all this together, yep. Uh, are, we, are we going in, are we going in, come on. Something's obstructing. Oh, there you go. Nice, nice satisfying click right there. Right, and put this in as well. Yep, yeah, that's in, that's in, that's in. There you go, there you go. And then this, just uh, press this in, press these in, and there you have it. Let's get that together. Okay, all right, there you go. There you have it, just pull this out, yeah. Magic squares, heavy gunner. Yeah, their version of brawl in his tank mode. And what a lovely tank mode it is. It's got the wheels underneath it, so yeah. All right, and there you have it. Okay, so accessories. Um, let's get to it. So what we've got, we've got these kind of um, these kind of headlights. Yeah, yeah we've got these. All right, very nice. We're kind of transparent plastic going on here. All right, and what we do is just put these on the holes up here. So just put one and. Two. Okay. All right. Uh, the gun. Okay. Just fold this up like so. Got a little post here, and that can just go right here. And finally, we've got his little, his double barrel here. Yeah. Uh, so it was. Which way was it? So it was like that. Just push it in like that, and then bring these forward like so. All right, and you've got these tabs here, and that just goes on at the back, like so. All right, and yeah, and that's and that's it. Okay, all right, and you've just got it's got this that can go all the way around. Yeah, and there you have that. And for comparisons, we have uh, Archimonde. Archimond, um, Unique Toys version of Brawl, yeah, in his tank mode. And we also have Zeta Toys Uproar, okay, in its tank mode as well. All right, so you, you get an idea of that. All right. Okay, and for the combination mode, right, so you've got this, you know, the, uh, the left foot, all right, okay. And you just want to expand this, like so. All right, just bring it all the way, like that, okay. And from here, what you want to do is at the front, you just want to extend that, okay. Uh, push this in all the way, and rotate this around, like so. And then, What's after that? Um, oh yeah, the the fuel barrels. Um, unclip them like that, okay, and then clip them into these slots here. All right, so just bring them over on this double hinge and just clip them in. Yeah, you can yeah, do it individually, uh, like like so. All right, so you got that, and you got your some slots in here, okay, and that just goes in nicely, like so. Let's connect it together, like that. All right, and let's see. Um, and then you've got uh, 
Uh, let me see, let me see. Right, yes, you've got these uh, slots here, here and here. It's gonna go in here and uh, here and there. Okay, so just put that together. That's it, done. All right, and, and for comparison, okay, we've got the left foot for uh, Unique Toys Ragnaros. So you can see how, what that looks like. And we've got the left foot for Zeta Toys Armageddon. So you can see how that looks. Okay, so yeah, almost on par with each other. You know, um, let's, let's have a look at the foot. Yeah, his foot is bigger, slightly. All right, so let's have a look underneath. Yeah, almost the same size foot, yeah. And this one is just a little bit, uh, a little bit taller. All right, this one's beefier. Yeah, but all, all their, all their um, figures, uh, individual bots, they're, they're, um, let's put you to the side. Um, all their individual bots are, are very beefy anyway. But yeah, I think this is looking quite good. Um, yeah, you can see on the heel here, it's much bigger here. But, uh, but yeah, it's almost as big. Uh, it's just slightly, tiny bit smaller, but it's fine that the foot here is bigger than that. But yeah, there you go. All right, there's your comparisons. And I'll just put Starscream here so that you can see uh, how that's looking. Um, just bring it back, bring this back, bring this back, yeah. And there you have that. So there you have it, Magic Square's Heavy Gunner. This is a great start for Magic Square. This figure is just G1 through and through. Both the robot mode and tank modes look great. Articulation is fantastic. He's got a lot of range in the pelvic area for which you can put him in some great dynamic looking poses. There's no die cast in this figure at all, so he feels somewhat light, but the plastic does feel good. Solid and sturdy. Nothing feels like it's going to break easily. Which leads to the transformation. Transformation is easy. There's quite a few steps for the legs, but it's all straightforward and nothing fights you. I really hope that's how it will stay for the rest of the team. The combat mode is looking promising, so we can only wait and see how that will turn out. But for now, I'm impressed. I really like it. I'm all in on the set. So there you have it. Magic Squares Heavy Gunner. Once again, thank you for joining me. Look out for the reverse transformation for this figure. Check out my channel. Check out my Facebook page. Lots of photography on there. Details in the description below. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Why not? And I'll see you next time.